Easy, James here. Now this is another video about time code. Now if you remember I did, uh, the last video I did was about time code. Um, I showed you how to um, set up a time code setup with uh, time coded vinyls on the cheap. Um, now since I did that video there's uh, been a few questions in the comments section uh, of that video. Uh, some people asking about can you do the same setup with CDs? Now I could just reply to those comments and say yeah you can. but being as I've got the uh, ability to actually show you this time, physically connect it all up and show you how it all works, I might as well do it and I'll show you how it's all set up. Because with the other one I showed you pictures on the computer. Now the reason being is because I haven't actually got any time code vinyls at the moment, I'm still waiting for them to be delivered. Um, so um, I can actually show you how to do this with CD. Now you can do it with CD and it's exactly the same and even if you do end up buying the same audio interface I showed you in that video, you can still do it with CDs no problem because uh, that audio interface actually has a switch where you can switch between line and phono. So all you've got to do is switch it over to line and plug it into your CD player instead of your turntable. Um, and make sure when you plug it into the back of your mixer, you plug it into the line in socket and not the phono socket. Otherwise you're going to get a horrible distorted mess when you go and play CDs for it. Um, so basically it's pretty much the same setup, but I'll show you um, how it's all connected up. Well, I'm going to show you how to do all this on Virtual DJ because uh, I've only run in a demo version of Traktor and I have ordered a copy, well two copies of Traktor, but they're going to be coming with my timecode vinyl, so I haven't got them here yet. Um, I've ordered two copies, I've got one for this machine and one for my laptop. But what I've done is I went onto the Virtual DJ website and downloaded an MP3 of the uh, Virtual DJ timecode and burn it onto a CD. So what I'll do is then, I will quickly show you, just on the CD, um, I'll put this CD in. So first of all, I'll just quickly show you what's on the CD. Now when you download the timecodes and burn them onto a CD, if you play them, all you're going to hear is that. So basically that's the time code on the CD. Now you might want to play it anyway just to double check that it's on there properly. But basically, if I then put that into that player, right now I've put the time code into that player. Now if I hit play on here now, you can hear music playing. Now I don't know if you can see this, but you can see Virtual DJ is actually playing when I hit play on there. So that means that the time code is now controlling Virtual DJ. So what I'll do is then, I'll show you how to connect it all up really easy and most of the time you don't even have to buy anything. I didn't anyway, I just used the sound card that I've got here. Well now one more thing I wanted to quickly address about the comments in the last video. Um, a lot of people asking about this, um, saying is this got um, a high enough sample rate to um, deal with time code? Well yes, this goes up to 48 kilohertz sample rate. Now being the standard sample rate is 44.1 kilohertz, this is just above that, so this will be fine. Now 96 kilohertz would be better, so if you've got a sound card that goes up to 96, that's great. Um, but this will be good enough, okay, for the basic time code setup. So what I'll do is then, I'll quickly show you what I've got this connected. Now all I've got is I've got two RCA cables which come out of the back of the, uh, the CD player. Um, that's just connected to the audio outputs on the CD player. So what I'll do is then just literally plug those into the input on the audio interface. Okay, so all you do is you quickly whack that into there, um, black to white and red to red. Okay, and then what I got is another cable going from, uh, sorry, connecting to the uh, line in on the mixer, okay? So then all I do is go white to white, red to red. So basically you've got your audio signal coming from your CD player into the input on this and then from the output of this going into um, the mixer, all right? So that's it. Once you've got that connected up, you're good to go. Now you can do this with the other audio interface as well, the, uh, the UFO. Just make sure you switch it to line, okay? Otherwise you're gonna end up getting a horrible noise. Also as well, if you're gonna wanna use the CD player like normal after connecting this all up, you're also gonna wanna use the Y splitters to split the signal coming out the CD player, one into here, one into the back of the mixer. Right now I've got the camera handheld now, so we're a bit kinda wibbly wobbly. Um, but what I'm going to do is, I'm going to sh show you how to actually set it up in Virtual DJ. Um, when I get Traktor, I'll do it as a video response and I'll show you how to do it in Traktor. Um, right, so first of all, what you're going to want to do is install something called ASIO for all. You're going to need an ASIO driver. 
Now, video response below will show you how to install ASIO for all. It's really easy and it's safe to do. It's not virus or anything like that. So just go to that and look at how to install that. So first of once you've done that, sorry, uh, you want to go to config and you want to make sure that its uh, sound card is set to ASIO. It will do it automatically anyway when you select time code. Um, also as well, you want to make sure that ASIO for all version 2 is selected. Okay, so what you want to do is go to ASIO config and then make sure that that is what is there, okay, that USB audio codec. Now that's the Behringer interface, so make sure that one is selected or whatever sound card you're going to be using. You don't have to use this one. Right, okay, so once you've done that, um, where it says here inputs, you want to select a single time code. So I'm only using one. You can select two if you've got two sound cards. And then you want to go to time code config. Right now, you want to select what it is you're using. Now I'm using the Virtual DJ version 5 CD. That's what I'm using. And then you want to go to uh, where it says here you can select relative if you're having trouble with the signal, uh, if you're having a slightly weak signal or it's just not 100%. If not, set it to absolute. Click OK, hit apply. Okay, so once you've set all that up, drag a track into your player, and then when you hit play on the CD player, it should start playing there. There we go, that's it. So it's playing on there, and if you hit stop on there, it stops that. And also, um, we've got pitch as well. So as you can see, it changes the pitch. Not very responsive this one because it's a quite an old CD player. But there you go, and that's it. Now, also because we've set it to absolute, it should follow um, the timing on the time code itself. So if we cue this now and go back to the beginning of the track, if we hit play, you see it goes back to the beginning of the track. And if we fast forward, we fast forward through the track. If we fast forward, and if you pause it, I can even use the jog wheel to scrub through the track. And backwards. There you go. So you can just use it as if it was that CD, but on there. And that's it, simple as that. So now I'm using a time code on the CD to control Virtual DJ. So technically I've kind of turned this um, CDJ twin CD player into a MIDI controller except obviously you can't map the buttons, but you can use it to control your tracks. Now, bearing in mind, you're probably gonna be using CDJs or something a little bit better than this. Um, so if you're using that, then probably gonna get even better results still. So there you go. Um, I hope this video has been a help. Uh, don't forget to check out the video response below as well for the instructions on how to install um, ASIO for all. I'll also put a link in the description for it as well if you know how to install it and you just want a quick way to get to it. So there you go. Um, if you've got any questions or anything, uh, just leave comments below and uh, leave feedback as well. If you've got anything better or you've got anything to add um, or anything like that, leave video responses and leave comments below. So there you go. I hope this video has been a help. Thank you for watching. Nice one.